Hello there, I'm Anne Edwards and thanks for joining me at the London Sukuk Summit 2013 right here at the Jumeirah Carlton Tower and we are one-on-one -on -one with Apostolos Bantis who is the Vice President of Commerce Bank based right here in London. Welcome. Thank you very much. You were speaking at the summit yesterday and this was on the GCC and also how's the progress of Sukuk, the Sukuk market in the GCC. Can you tell us more? Yes, certainly. The GCC has been one of the regions where Sukuk issuance is starting to gain momentum, particularly in 2012 has been a very strong year for Sukuk out of the GCC. They've raised 22 billion, which is an historical uh, amount. Uh, the UAE has been leading in terms of new issuance in the markets uh, with some of big name tickets, especially this year also we had Diva, we had Dubai Islamic Bank, uh, Emirates Airlines, and to the sovereign even the Dubai uh, sovereign has revisited the Sukuk markets. Uh, However, what are some of the challenges that you still need to put up with in order for this market to grow further? Well, certainly the Sukuk market in the GCC still accounts for a relatively smaller portion of the conventional bond markets. Uh, however, there is growth potential. Some of the main challenges, in my view, I think, is the point of liquidity. We see that liquidity on GCC Sukuk tends to be a bit weaker than some of the other regions, and I think one of Why is this, sir? One of the reasons for that, I think, is the fact that the participation of asset fund managers in GCC Sukuk is relatively lower compared to some of the other regions. Based on a study that we've done, we found that participation of uh, asset fund managers in GCC Sukuk stands at about 25% of the total primary issues, whereas in other regions such as in Russia or even in Asia, the participation of asset managers, which tend to be more active investors and create more liquidity on the Sukuk markets, is more than 50%. Why is this so? I think the fact is that the asset fund management industry in the GCC is still in the early developing phase. It is growing very fast though, so over time, over the next two, three years, uh, this trend is going to reverse and support uh, more liquidity. How much longer? Well, certainly, I mean, there's been a lot of progress and liquidity, to say the truth, has improved over the past two, three years in the GCC. We've seen a significant repatriation of uh, GCC investor funds back from Europe and the US to the local markets, so certainly that created a liquidity. But the asset fund managers industry per se is still in the early development phase and it will take another three, four years, I think, that you will see a bit more established of an industry, but there is certainly a lot of people are looking to establish presence there. What's the peak, like say in two to three years, like you said, you know, um, we'll be able to see something more. So how much more? Well, the expectation is that, you know, if we continue to see at least a growth of around 20 to 30 percent per year, certainly in two, three years time, you will have a doubling of the market. Uh, and there is still potential, particularly in the GCC, for supply of new Sukuk because you have uh, mega infrastructure projects from the governments. Uh, I think on aggregate, the GCC infrastructure projects will amount more than one trillion dollars over the next five to seven years and a large share of that will be funded by debt and certainly Sukuk is going to play a big role in that portion. Thank you so much Mr. Thank you very much. And that was Apostolos Bantis who is Vice President of Commerce Bank right here in London. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you once again. Bye-bye.